I have an especially disgusting story for you where an older gentleman who is actually a World War II veteran who was in his bed in an old folks home and just stopped breathing and he was in extreme distress and needed help so he does what everybody else does in an old folks home he grabs the little beeper thing and he beeps for the nurses but that didn't happen to 89 year old james dempsey a world war ii veteran father and grandfather from woodstock he like all of us deserved to live and die with dignity instead video taken from a hidden camera installed by his family shows his calls for help going unanswered <laughs> James Dempsey, who died in 2014, a decorated World War II veteran. He was 89 years old. The video shows Dempsey calling for help at least six times before he goes unconscious. Records show Dempsey is found unresponsive at 5.28 a.m. It took almost an hour to call 911. When a nurse does respond, she fails to check any of his vital signs. If you witnessed this nurse, had you seen this as it was happening, would you have written her up? Yes. It doesn't stop there. When the nurses had difficulty getting Dempsey's oxygen machine operational, something struck them as funny. Man, was there something funny that was happening? I can't even remember all that, as you can see. The nurses show up within, like, 20 minutes, half an hour. They didn't even, you know, they didn't even hurry to get to him, you know. Once they get to him, they realize he's saying, help me, help me, help me in the background. And they're like gingerly walking around and like, like one of them grabs the oxygen tank and one of them makes a joke and she has to stop and starts laughing her ass off about the joke instead of... getting the man the oxygen that he needs. The man is a white man, and the nurses are black, obviously, because you would have heard about it if it was a black man who was being mistreated by white nurses. You would certainly hear about that. So here is a story, which I'll post all the links and everything, but the nurses' names are Lois Pic Piquette Eggman, <laughs> however you pronounce that, Wanda Knuckles, and Mabel Terman, and they were all, they ignored the man while he was crying out for help. They laughed at him. I mean, Argelman is charged with counts including murder. The latter two suspects of lesser charges are deprived from the person of essential services and neglecting an elderly person. So that's what their charges are. But according to what I've been able to find, they weren't even fired from their jobs until a, a, about a year later when courts were forcing them to allow the video to be put forward because there's some law that states you can't um, you can't record nurses without them knowing about them being recorded which to me is extremely suspect I mean how are you supposed to catch people doing illegal shit if they know that there's you know a secret camera there that doesn't make any sense you need to weed out the pieces of shit so don't allows them to know where the cameras are so that when they do shit like that, they get caught, like now. In 43 years of nursing, I have never seen such disregard for human life in a healthcare setting as what I witnessed. The surveillance camera footage allegedly reveals circumstances surrounding the World War II veteran's death, and it also might not be shown during their trial. I've been trying to find information about this. This all happened in 2015. I mean, this happened a long, long time ago. And I've been trying to find out what happened with their sentencing, what happened with anything like that. But there's just nothing posted about it. I can't really find anything when I search their names. I mean, it's, it's like they disappeared off the face of the planet when it comes to court cases. But if some white person does something, everybody knows who they are and where they live within 12 hours. I mean, Justin Lemp was killed in his bed, and no one still knows who the hell he is, but that guy who knelt on the black guy's neck, you all know who he is, right? 
we would not be able to prosecute this case without that video. So technically, them trying to block out the video is them trying to block out the only evidence of them actually neglecting this guy and not really giving a shit. I can imagine if he was a black war veteran, they would have taken every step and, and been running around and, you know, all kinds of things would have happened in order to make sure that this guy lived to the next day. Yeah, according to the Georgia Board of Nurses, Knuckles and the other nurse seen in the video surrendered their licenses in the September 2017, three years after the incident. So they were still allowed to look after people, to be in a nursing job, to, to be someone's caregiver when they've already shown that they don't give care. <laughs> so how do these people still have a job? I mean, I'm, I'm hoping that there's something I can find. Maybe somebody sees this video and can help me look up what happened to these people because I'm pretty sure allowing someone to die in that particular way is awful. All right, tell me what you saw when you came into the room. Lois was, that's the nurse, was doing compressions and the aide was doing the bagging. And the nurse was doing what? Chest compressions. Ch chest compressions. From the time you came in, you took over doing chest compressions from Miss Lois, correct? Yes. All right. And you continuously gave chest compressions until Miss Lois came back? Yes. At which time you relieved the nurse's aide named Miss Mabel. Yes. And you guys continued giving CPR until the EMTs took over? Yes. I'm the queen of residence rights. All right. I'm the queen of residence rights. All right. I'm the queen of residence rights. All right. Okay. Who just came into the room? That's me. Okay. So you recall testifying. Hey, like I'm pretty sure it is. You came into the room at 623.10, correct, ma'am? Yes. All right. And contrary to the way you testified previously, there's no one doing CPR, is there? No. All right. If you recall, what you testified to previously was that you started CPR and you kept going until the EMTs arrived. Do you recall testifying to that? Yes. All right. Is it appropriate for you to have stopped giving CPR at this time, ma'am? If the thing is not working. Well, shouldn't you be doing chest compressions right now, ma'am? Yes. Okay. Man, was there something funny that was happening at 6.30.41 on February 27th, 2014 in the middle of I have no this attempt clue, to resuscitate sir. Mr. Dempsey? I have no clue. I can't even remember all that, as you can see. Do you see any sense of urgency on the part of any of the medical providers here, ma'am? Including yourself. I think I was doing pretty good considering I didn't have anything to work with. Okay. Well, when you testified earlier that you walked in and started giving CPR from the moment you got there until the EMT showed up, that really wasn't the truth, was it? Sir, that was an honest mistake because I was just basing everything on what I normally do. Well, you're a nurse. You, you know when someone's gasping for air, correct? Yes. All right. If you saw this when you walked in the room, would you agree that it appears as though he's gasping for air? I would. Is that an emergency situation, ma'am? Yep. Yes. And according to my notes, it was the call light was initially hit at 434.35. All right. So I would like for you to assume for me that the call light was initiated at 434.35 and she walked into the room at 442.18. Is that an acceptable period of time for someone to answer a call light? No. All right. Okay, I can feel everything 
Does he still appear to be in distress? Yes. Does it look like his heart respirations are elevated? Or that his respirations are elevated? Not so much elevated, but labored. Maybe. All right. And it appears she left the room by 4.44.23, correct? Yes. Did you see her do an assessment of Mr. Dempsey? No. Did you see her take vital signs of Mr. Dempsey? No. Did you see her do anything other than do a med pass and reposition him? No. And turn off the call light, correct? Correct. All right. Do you believe that that interaction with Mr. Dempsey complied with the standard of care? No. And ma'am, you're a supervisor at SAVA, correct? Yes. You supervise nurses, right? Yes. All right. If you witnessed this nurse, had you seen this as it was happening, Would you have written her up? Yes. How does it make you feel to watch this, ma'am? Sick. Okay. That's not what you said when I asked you the question earlier, was it? No. All right. Earlier you testified that you remembered walking in and seeing a nurse on one side of the bed and a CNA on the opposite side of the bed. Remember testifying to that? Yes. Crash cart there in the room. They were yes. providing CPR, correct? Yes. You went over there and you took over so that one nurse could go call EMS and you gave CPR from the moment they left until the EMT showed up. Remember that? Yes. All right. But watching this video, we don't see that happen at all, do we, ma'am? No. All right. Again, it was an honest mistake. That's what I generally do. Tell me what the environment should be like. It should be bustling with people. I'm sorry? Bustling with people. All right. Busy. That's right. Do you believe that Mr. Dempsey and his family deserve better than this, ma'am? Yes. Okay. Any reason to stop after six compressions there, ma'am? Not that I know of. Okay. All right. My question is, is that the way a code is supposed to work? No. Right. If you like what I said, please give me a thumbs up. If you don't like what I said, please give me a thumbs down, but at least leave a comment so I can maybe change your mind. Thank you very much. Have you ever heard the expression, Chucky or not? Oh, damn, welcome, like. Fuck you.